Hey guys, welcome to another guide. Today I'm going to show you how to get the platinum or 100% completion in Resident Evil 4 Remake in just 4 runs and 6 chapters roughly. This route is already very efficient and has a normal difficulty curve without doing any risky and showy stunts in the process. So let's begin the roadmap and we are starting with run 1. The first thing we have to do in this run, focused on collectibles, miscellany and max health, is to enjoy our first run while gathering all the collectibles and shooting all the castellans, completing all merchant requests and doing all combat chapter specific trophies along the way. I used and recommend the written guide of power picks as I like to read them so I don't get spoiled and waste minimal time uh, watching videos for example. And you can go with whatever difficulty you want but if you choose assisted then I'd advise to try the no healing run if you want to as health automatically recovers up beyond critical point in this difficulty. Also, don't sell any treasures right away, keep them until you can inlay gemstones into them and with the maximum bonus combination if possible, which is basically all slots of the same color except the crown we get on chapter 12 I think, which has 5 slots and the maximum bonus for that one is attained by inlaying 5 different colors for a total value of 100,000 pesetas which is a trophy on its own, by the way. You need to save a lot of money, so keep exploring and don't hesitate to keep amassing a fortune. We need to upgrade weapons and we also need 2 million of pesetas for the infinite rocket launcher on a later run. I personally did my first run on standard and still had a lot of money by the end of it. I upgraded to the max 3 or 4 weapons during this run in the process as well. And speaking of upgrades, it's very important that you find the pistol that best suits your gameplay and upgrade it to the max for the next run. I personally recommend the starting SG-09 with, uh, with the latest upgrade, which is uh, critical rate 5 times higher and the laser point accessory if you are good and comfort comfortable aiming to the head. If not, you may want to use the Red 9 or the Black Tail. Also, very important, keep a manual safe on the last merchant in Chapter 16, since we will be back after completing the game. Now for the second run, which will be focused on, on the knife and pistol only, and not talking to the merchant, uh, you just beat your first run, and if you shot all the castellans, you shall have unlock the primal knife, save your completed game, buy the knife in the, in the extra content shop in the main menu and load the manual save in chapter 16 to fully upgrade it to make it unbreakable before starting the next run and then beat the game, beat the game again and save the completed game. By the way, I streamed my run, uh, link in the card above, but be minded, I talk a lot of Spanish once my Spanish viewers came in. Load the completed file and start New Game Plus in Assisted. The run will be a walk in the park, use your fully upgraded pistol and primal knife to rush the game like a madman. Also, do not talk to the merchant at all, you don't need to, and this way we will get another trophy out of the way. I recommend two things here. If you didn't make the no healing rain jet, then go ahead and do it this time on assisted. It's very easy. The second thing is to start practicing the various chapter skips and cheeses so you familiarize with them and start cutting time on the grind. Try to keep getting more pesetas along the, the way because we need 2 million for the, for the third run and complete the game and just save it. Now, round 3 with the infinite rocket launcher with uh, getting A rank in professional. Ok, so here comes the fun. Load the completed save file and choose professional. We are aiming to get A rank, as I said, 
which is attained by uh, completing the game under 7 hours. I assure you, you will get S rank though, because you've been practicing the skips like I told you and you will have the infinite rocket launcher. If you still didn't make the no healing run, then this is your last chance. Well, it's harder than doing it unassisted, but it's doable, I did it like this. You'll have to be careful though to not get hit at all, at least on the first 13 or 14 chapters. Your health still recovers uh, beyond critical threshold each time you get to a new chapter, but you are going to have a hard time if you keep going like that from the uh, beginning chapters. Once you complete the third run, you'll unlock the Chicago typewriter and Ashley's armor and a few accessories as well. We wanted the Chicago typewriter and the Ashley's armor. I'm telling you right now, doing professional without Ashley's armor is basically something that is out of my mind. The difficulty will bump, bump, uh, will bump to the skies. Buy them on the extra content and make sure to equip Ashley with the armor in cosmetics and the rest of the accessories if you want. I don't like the gas mask, personally by the way, my aim is much better as I found on my new game professional run and i leave the link to my walkthrough on the car if you want to check it, um, this is for the next step. Now for the fourth run we are getting uh, S plus in professional in a new game. Uh, here comes the most difficult part of the entire platinum. There is no new game plus this time and we need to get S rank on professional which is only doable on a new game file under 5 hours and 30 minutes. And for two reasons, uh, we are doing this run for two reasons because we unlock both S plus trophies, standard and hardcore and along all the rewards and because we get cut ears accessory which is insane and grants infinite ammo essentially so we can do the ng professional without bonus weapons for the last weapon which is the hand cannon this is much easier than trying to do professional with just the accessory that reduces the damage taken and saves a lot of runs and time in the process on this run, we are going to complete Merchant Request to get the spinels necessary for the Chicago Infinite Ammo upgrade and we'll, we will be using all the skips and cheeses we know and that can be done in Professional New Game. But listen carefully. On my walkthrough what I did and recommend is to not use any special weapon, I sold the Primal Knife too, until at least chapter 7, but I personally push it to the end of chapter 9 for two reasons. The first one is you need to complete all, all merchants requests after chapter 7 except uh, the save the mat, which is the powerful wolf in the village, but you still need good RNG for two more spinels inside barrels to get the 30 required for the exclusive great ticket for Chicago, which I didn't, and in the end I choose to keep the golden eggs for this same reason until I had good uh, RNG, which I didn't, so I just used them on the Salazar boss to try to cheese it, and I missed them. So GG anyway. The second reason is if you push a few more chapters, you'll save time later. But I do agree, it's far easier to have Chicago uh, from from chapter seven. So do it like that if you personally prefer an easier in an easier time. As a bonus tip, make sure to skip Mendes boss, which is very easy and saves a lot of trouble and ammo. I do it in my walkthrough, so check it out. Here's where I recommend to use an upgrade before you get to use the Chicago. You might also want to check it on my walkthrough for that. Uh, the starting pistol to power 3, then sell it on chapter 4 for red 9, and upgrade it to power 3 for again. The starting shotgun as well to power 3 and then sell it on chapter 6 for Riot uh, shotgun and upgrade it for the Belly Sisters encounter. Also the starting rifle uh, with the scope because it's useful on the giant, on the first giant and for skip purposes. Once you have enough, enough spinels make a manual save and remember it so you come back later on the uh, next run. Upgrade it, the, the Chicago to the max start with power 3 and much later to power 4 in the ending chapters because you need money to buy two rocket launchers at least. The first rocket launcher I will buy is to skip the giants in, in chapter 11 and the last one should be for Sattler. 
they cost a uh, hundred and sixty thousand pesetas each and the rest can be powered into repairing the, the body armor and upgrading the, the Chicago further. You can check again my saving points in my walkthrough. This is the last time I spam it, I swear. And for the final run and step, once you beat the game and get the S rank uh, plus, buy the cat ears and equip them on Leon, and then load the save file up to the point before getting the Chicago upgraded, and then sell everything, buy the broken but butterfly magnum, upgrade it to the max, and melt the enemies like butter to the end of this part partial playthrough. And don't forget to check the challenge to see if you if your counter is on zero. There's no time uh, rice. There's no time rust this time. So take your time if you want and enjoy the final pass to the platinum. Once you beat the game, you will unlock the hand cannon and with that the final weapon and trophy. And congratulations, you just got the Resident Evil 4 remake platinum after getting to the final step. Please consider dropping a like and subscribing, that will help me a lot and hope this guide was useful for you and I'll see you on my next videos. Peace.